Guruji, I think that's um, it's best you answer the question. Minister, I think Guruji would be more of an authority. No, no, you, you speak. You know more. Okay, so that I am intent never to attend a session like this again. I do not go to talk shows in Pakistan. I don't take phones from Indian callers because I do not. I find it a waste of my time to be in a. You did this. We did this. Uh, we, either we talk about structurally about things that can happen. I was not contradicting yeah, myself. Yeah. I, was I know enough of my own country. I think this that. is not okay, uh, good the question. I'm. I'm it, we are the question was on China. I, I, China. I, I, I was just clarifying because I was told that I had mm. contradicted myself by making two well, different. Well, because I was talking about uh, that in 2010 and this now. And now, debt from China. No, not only debt from China. The role of China. Mm. I think that was what the question was. The office, I think made it a rule that no brief will carry, carry an anti-India story, that no prime minister's comments and no uh, foreign minister's comments from the Financial Times. Yeah. Um, I actually find it quite entertaining to see a, an Indian or Pakistani news channel. But I wanted to, to ask you about the role of uh, China in, in all of this picture because I wondered whether it's become an added complicating factor because India is increasingly wary of China. Pakistan is quite close to China. Sri Lanka has had a very complicated relationship with the, the whole alleged debt trap with China. So what, what role is the Chinese playing in all this? Minister? Guruji. I think that's um, it's best you answer the question. Minister, I think Guruji would be more of an authority. No, no, you, you speak. You know more. Okay, so basically, um, you know, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, I think that's a complexity, and I would hope, you know, that's why, allow me to say before I say that, I am intent never to attend a session like this again. I do not go to talk shows in Pakistan. I don't take phones from Indian callers, because I do not, I find it a waste of my time to be in a, you did this, we did this. Either we talk about structurally about things that can happen. I was not contradicting myself. I was telling you in 2010, why were we the ones who said we would normalize trade? Because India was living by its commitments that it had made internationally, some of them at least, that it had made in Simla. But when you go and you reverse everything that you have committed to the people of Kashmir, to Pakistan and to UNSA and say, yes, we have done broad light murder, but don't, you know, let's move on. Yes, we killed someone, but move on. It doesn't happen like that. Then you have to reverse back and make some amends. This is, and I'm not point scoring over here. I'm just stating facts as I see them as a realist. In order to move forward, some backward movement would be required. And then if you open that door, you will find everybody and their godfathers in Pakistan running right into it, crashing it open. And I mean it. I know enough of my own country. I to think say this that. is not okay, uh, good the to question. Say, I'm, I'm, it, we are the question was on from, China. I, 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 I was just clarifying because I was told that I had mm. contradicted myself by making two well, different. Well, because I was talking about uh, that in 2010 and this now. And now, debt from China. No, not only debt from China. The role of China. Mm. I think that was what the question was. I think you're absolutely right in uh, for that to be perceived. Look, from where we sit, and I think I can speak of it for more or less the entire region, barring India. China is generally seen by Many countries in the Middle East who we talk deeply with and many countries in our part of the world as a source or as pillar of stability rather than chaos. Uh, I think this, when you do deep conversations with people who are in power in, in the region largely, barring India, as I said, is seen to be a, 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 you know, a, pillar, a, a force of stability rather than chaos or instability. Now, it is viewed by the West right now in a very, very different light, clearly. Okay? And because of that, since 2010, you've had a proliferation of Indo-Pacific strategies. Containment of China is now a key objective, which is really there right in the center in many, many countries' policies. Okay, now, attached to that, what has happened with Russia and Ukraine, it becomes even a more complex situation. However, within all of that Indo-Pacific strategy, there's another problem. There's another issue. India is a net security provider within that containment of China file, right? Or, you know story. Now that obviously for any country which feels threatened and has gone into wars with, you know, uh, has been subject to wars by that country feels very threatened by that. So yes, that might be part of the, you know, it might complicate things further. But I tell you, I, I, I will per perhaps end by saying this clearly and categorically and repeating at the cost of repeating myself, that we truly, truly believe that if in both countries you have statesmen at the same time who are willing to build a legacy of peace at the same time and not win an election cycle only, 
this is not an intractable problem as Stephen Cohen called it. It is not a conundrum that cannot be. It has been allowed to grow and grow and propagate, and this narrative feeding has been done into the souls of our people and into our children. And I, when we had a chance, when we thought that we had a peaceful, you know, a person that we could deal with on the other side who wanted peace, we made it, I, I, will, I will share this with you. In the Foreign Office, we made it a rule that no brief will car carry an anti-India story, that no prime minister's comments and no uh, foreign minister's comments. Do I say this today in the Foreign Office? No, I don't, because I think India has not given us the comfort that would be required to okay. think that we can so actually move So we're forward. at the fag end of this conversation at the World Economic Forum. Guruji has his hand up, wants to make a final observation, then we'll try and get a quick comment each and we'll wrap. See, uh, we need to move forward and the way forward